Welcome back to an astrophysicist tells bad jokes and hits stuff. I'm getting good at this now. <laughs> We're switching up the angle today too. So I got a friend, he's an electrical engineer, he just got a new car. He got a Volkswagen. <laughs> oh my gosh, the other day the universe was running around and jumping up and down. It was hyperspace. You know, protons make such great inspirational speakers, they're so good at being positive. How does a mathematician plow a field? With a protractor. Are monsters any good at math? Not unless you count Dracula. Okay, that one's not great. But I like it. And this last one is more of a tip than a joke. Here's how you solve any equation. Just multiply both sides by zero. <laughs> Welcome back to an astrophysicist with an endless supply of bad science puns and a drum set. Here's a story about two blood cells that met and fell in love, but alas, it was all in vain. <laughs> Schrodinger's cat walks into a bar. But, but it also doesn't. <laughs> What's a quantum physicist's favorite part of going to a live sporting event? The wave. <laughs> Why did the dinosaur cross the road? Because chickens didn't exist yet. <laughs> joke doesn't get a laugh. Just keep trying until you get a reaction. <laughs> ah, so I'm an astrophysics PhD student, but I'm also a drummer, and I have a terrible sense of humor. So this is an astrophysicist tells bad jokes and hits stuff. Let's go. Why did the moon put down its fork? Because it was full. astronaut do after he crashed into the moon? He apologized. <laughs> that, that's pretty good. What do you call a telescope that just can't stop running into things? A kaleidoscope. <laughs> What's E.T. short for? He's got little legs. <laughs> That is a good one! Why are telescopes always pointed away from Earth? Because they're searching for intelligent life. <laughs> that one deserved a bigger, bigger shot. <laughs> it's funny because it's true! Okay. Well, it's been a bit, but we're back with an astrophysicist tells bad jokes and hits stuff. And today we are doing a lunar edition in honor of Artemis 1 launching one week from today. Now, I want to start off by reassuring everybody that the moon landing was not faked. If it was, NASA owes us all a huge apology. <laughs> when does Batman own the moon? When it wanes. Really bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's an astronaut's favorite day of the week? Moon day. <laughs> I was debating whether or not I deserved it. Oh, oh, here's another one. What's an astronaut's favorite type of bagel? Cinnamon raisin. <laughs> what do you call a meal on the moon? A satellite dish. Last one, last one. Why are there bones on the moon? Because the cow didn't make it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, if you want to learn more about the Artemis 1 mission, check out the video that just went up on my YouTube today.